Last week I took a look at Rocket League in 2020, and since I uploaded the video, I've reached 10,000 subscribers! Thank you guys so much for the support as of late, but the grind don't stop. On to that big hundo next! <laughs> so I thought, what better way to transition from looking at the future of Rocket League and reaching this milestone, than taking a look at where it all began. Although looking at my channel, it would suggest I've only been uploading Rocket League vids for the past couple of years, but little do you know, I have a fair few private videos that are just so terrible I swore to myself that I'd never let them see the light of day again. That was until I realised that taking a look at my very first Rocket League video will show not only how far I've come as a creator, but also as a player. January 10th, 2016. On this day I thought it was a good idea to upload a video. Now notice how I say video and not video. This shit out of a video does not deserve to be categorised as a video. But back to the point. On this day I thought it was a good idea to upload a 17 minute long video of pure uncut Rocket League. Because, you know, I was just so sick at the game that 100% of the entertainment value came from my mechanical ability, right? Wrong. You couldn't be further wrong. See, I was abysmal at the game back then. And even now after all this time, and even being GC, I still feel like I'm not a good player. But I think that just comes with knowing that it took me roughly 5,000 hours to actually hit GC. So if it wasn't my in-game ability or editing skills that made me upload this video, then what the fuck was it? Oh, the title kind of gives us a clue actually. Now I know many of you actually know me from the funny moments episodes over the years with Mercy. But if this video needed absolutely no editing at all, then it has to be one of the most hilarious conversations ever with a friend, right? So let's see who this friend is. I'm there talking to you, my mic's fucking muted. I was thinking my mic's at mic in my head, it sounded weird. Yeah, not bad, my... How are you? I was asking you that, I asked you it about five times, I thought you were just ignoring me. <laughs> So I've watched about 45 seconds of this and I'm seemingly just talking to myself. Like I'm clearly having a conversation, but with no one. And let's not even get into the gameplay you see. Wait a fucking minute, I can hear somebody. It was well over the top. <laughs> I think, I think I hear your boy Mercy. Why did I ever think it was a good idea to title the video? proper banter when you can only hear the person I'm talking to sound like they're in a different dimension. The more I think about it, the more ridiculous it actually is. You can literally only hear Mert because of how loud I had my headphones turned up. He literally sounds like a mouse just hidden away in the corner of a room somewhere, solely because my mic was picking him up through my headphones. So now that we've established that the whole reason for me even posting the video was majorly flawed, let's focus a bit more on the jaw-dropping gameplay you're about to witness. Go on boys, bang it in. Ah, oh, pop a noobs on my team. Right, that's it. I can't deal with watching any more of this video. So let's fast forward nearly four years to the very day. Literally a few days earlier and it would have been exactly four years after releasing that video that I hit GC for the first time. January 15th, 2020. I'm not gonna lie, it's not something I ever thought I'd achieve, especially before switching to PC last March. Ever since I worked on the 7 day montage challenge video, that was a fucking mouthful, which forced me to really focus on my mechanics, I feel like I ascended to a whole new levelling game. And because it took me so long to reach GC, I did want to dedicate an entire video solely to that GC match, but it was the most anticlimactic match I've ever had in Rocket League. It was a 3-0 forfeit with 2 minutes 54 left on the clock. Imagine forfeiting at 3-0 with 3 minutes left. So rather than go into too much depth with that, I figured what's more important than actually hitting GC? Getting that shiny yellow title to show off how fucking nutty I am at the game, that's what. And I'm not gonna lie, 
this was actually way easier than getting to GC itself for me. Within 15 games or so, I found myself peaking at 1588 MMR, which is 73 MMR higher than you need to even get into GC. And by this point, I already had my rewards. Now don't get me wrong, maybe I got a little fortunate, but the matches I played just simply didn't feel like a major struggle in the slightest. But even though I seem to have finally found my stride, and have broken into the top 1%, one thing that still plagues my dreams when I sleep at night is that I've got there or thereabouts 5,000 hours in Rocket League. So does this make me the worst GC ever? I struggle to imagine it taking anyone else 5,000 hours to reach it. Or are there peeps out there that have played more than that but are still stuck in gold or something? Like I understand everyone has different skill ceilings, but equally I feel that if anyone truly put their mind to it they could be a grand champ eventually. There are basic mechanics any GC should be able to pull off consistently with ease, and that's where I'm lacking. My game sense is pretty on point, so maybe I should start playing more ones to see how quickly I improve. I just find ones way too tilting and kinda boring so I avoid it at all costs. However, if you want to improve, I highly suggest playing it yourself. And as much as I don't enjoy ones, I know it's by far the best mode for improving as a player. So if I can go from this, to this, then you can definitely go from this. this I hope you all enjoyed this little trip down memory lane and the story of my rise to world domination if you did then let me know by dropping a big fat like on the video and subscribing if you're new to my channel as well as going and checking out all my other social medias and I'll see you in the next video ciao